Okay guys, I've got something a little bit different today. Um, it's a different video for you guys. What I'm going to be doing is testing out some older hard drives that I have using this program HD Talk. Um, I have quite a few older SATA hard drives. Um, like I've got two 160 gigabyte Seagates. Actually I've got four. Um, actually I have like six but two of them, actually three of them are in my main system. I've got four out here um, that I'm going to be doing some, some testing with. Um, there's another one even. Um, and then I also have some older IDE hard drives. Like here's an old Seagate uh, 20 gigabyte IDE hard drive that I'm going to be testing. The first part of this, I'm going to start off with the IDE hard drives because um, I have to reboot the computer every single time. Um, because this thing doesn't have like a hardware uh, IE RAID or hot swap capabilities on this motherboard. Um, so, but right now what's plugged in is a, and I'm going to got to be careful right with it, is an old Maxter uh, from 2002 and it is a 40 gigabyte drive. I don't know the RPMs of it, but I'm assuming it's probably just... Uh, 5400 so and I'm also going to be logging this to um, Maxter 40 gigabytes 2002 um, and then I'm, and then underneath that I'm going to put the speed of it so let's refresh this Maxter um, and also I mean it is let's see here just as a little update, it is 59 degrees where I am. It's a uh, it's nice day to or a nice night to be out here in the garage doing some testing. Got my Rockstar Energy Drink here. And let's go ahead and run. I'm just going to do a quick bench, um, eight megabyte zones. Um, let's see how this Maxter does. So. It's a little update. I've moved quite a bit of my audio stuff from uh, this in the workshop to where my main computer is um, because that's where I'm mainly going to be doing all my audio listening. Um, and that's also where my main computer is. And I've also got a video of that coming up. I just wanted it to be perfect, you know, before I actually put it on YouTube. So, you know, making sure everything's squared away. Potential read test. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. Eighty eight megabytes a second. That is pathetic. I mean, wow. That's just that is absolutely pathetic. It does. I mean, it doesn't even get up to say to one fifty. I mean, wow. Okay. Um, that part's done. Now I'm going to plug in this Seagate here, and then I got to reboot the computer. So I will be right back with that. Okay, so I've got the Seagate um, 20 gigabyte drive plugged in here, as you guys can see. Um, and the date code on this thing is where'd it go? Lost it. Zero uh, three three four two. Um, I've looked it up on the internet here. 03342, it's from 2003, so it's one year newer than this Mac store. Actually, CK 20 gigabyte from 2003. And where I can put IDE. Uh, 
All right, so let's go ahead and make sure it's here. Run the test. And the thing is, noticeably, while this is running, guys, this Maxter, while it was freaking loud, it sounded like a jet almost, um, it was actually really cool to the touch. Like, even this, this, this DSP chip or any of that stuff, like, it was really cool. It didn't get hot. I know it wasn't plugged in very long, but I was really surprised at how cool that was as far as temperature goes. So, let's see if the Seagate can do better than the Maxter. I know Maxters are notorious for failing. Um, and it's really strange because I think the worst brand I've had trouble with is Western Digital. Um, nothing against Western Digital, but I think it's really just been luck of the draw for me. Because, I mean, I do have one. Oh, wow. The Maxter beat the, the, Maxter beat the Seagate. It could be because it's just smaller. And the thing is quiet too. Like, I literally cannot hear that. Like, let me put the, the mic up. Like, you, I can, you cannot hear that Seagate. It is dead silent. Um, but yeah, 62.3 megabytes a second. Well, there's that one. It's interesting. So, uh, yeah, let me go. Okay, so the next hard drive that I have is a Western Digital. <clears throat> this is a Western Digital Caviar. It says 160 gigabyte. And it is from 2007. So let me go ahead and reboot and plug this guy in. And uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and see. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I don't know why I say okay, guys. It's just something I do. I can't explain it. Um, anyways, this is the Western Digital uh, 160. It's uh, plugged in here. Um, uh, 160 and the date on this is 2007 um, so Western Digital 160 goodbye 2007 um, let's go ahead and run the test I'm expecting this one to be faster just because it's a lot newer than those. I mean, not new, but it's, it's newer than those two, so. Um, that doesn't sound good. That sounded like grinding when it was doing the random access. That did not sound good at all. <laughs> oh, sh Nikes. That is not very good. I don't know if that has anything to do with the way it was sounding. Um, let's do this. I'm going to do eight. Let's do the 32 on this one. So, let's see what this comes up to be. 
<clears throat> Alright guys, now when it's on it. See if you can hear it. See if it acts in. Wow. That was grinding. Yeah, that sounded like grinding. Error during test or test cancelled by user. Yeah, something's wrong with that drive. Um Let's run it again just for giggles. Because it won't be that one. And something I've noticed with, with older drives, if they're sitting there for a couple years and they're it's doing some kind of errors, if you just use them a little bit, like, you know, put some data, you know, delete it, put some more data, delete it, it kind of exercises it a little bit and sort of brings it back to life that's just the experience i've had i'm not saying that's you know scientifically proven or anything but we'll see what this thing does oh it's even worse wow I mean, but, I mean, you gotta imagine though, 89.9, .9, that Maxer is still kicking uh, just about near that speed. Huh. At a drive that's five years newer than that one. Well, um. I'm gonna put a note here. I'll have to look into that further later on. Alright, I do have one more IDE drive, but it is physically in that computer, and I don't feel like taking it out. It's It was actually made in 2009 or 2010. It's a fairly brand new Western Digital IDE drive. I know it works, everything's fine, because I use it for some data backup on this computer. Um, but I'm not going to mess with that one, because it's it's actually not that old and it, you know by by IDE standards so what we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna do some SATA drives um, this is a Hitachi uh, desk star and this thing does not have a date line but it's a 7200 rpm drive Um, and this is an 80 gigabyte drive at 7200 RPM. I don't have a date for this one, so we'll have to see. But if all goes well, my. I'm just going to shove that back there so I don't feel like rebooting again. Um, if all goes well, the hot swap should work. Oh, also on this drive, guys, this thing is a uh, it has both molex power and sata power and i think during that era like i can't find any date code or anything on this on this drive i'm sure it's has something to do with these serial numbers but i'm not gonna worry about it because i think this is a drive from about 2007 or 2008 um because i think that's when they were doing the dual power i could be wrong Oh wow. And, and the computer might lag when I plug this in, guys, so. so yeah, if I can. yeah, it lagged. But this one actually makes <laughs> a little bit more noise than that Western Digital. So, and I do have some data on this thing, so. Yeah, there's just it's just backup of pictures, and that's the thing, guys. I don't back up any of my important stuff to these drives. They're just like backups to backups, and I'm stupid. There's the date right there, January 2006, and big bold letters. Sometimes it's big bold letters you can't see. Um, 2006. Anyways, refresh. 
refresh this and Itachi 80 gigabyte. Let's run it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't. These are just backups to backups that I already have. Um, like I've got another one around here. It's got um, more pictures and programs on it. Um, but I've got you know I have a large Western Digital. It's a one terabyte backup that I use. And then I also have another Western Digital 320 gigabyte IDE drive. That I think that one was in 2009. Um, and then I also have a Hitachi 500 gigabyte. It's a portable, like a just a small, tiny um, backup drive. And those are my main ones because those ones seem to be the most reliable. Wow, 203 megabytes a second. That is for 2006. That's pretty good. I mean that drive, and I've known. Hitachi seemed to be the have the best reliability. There was a report, I can't remember what website it was. I think it was like a it was some kind of data center and they did a test and I think Hitachi has had the best reliability. Um, second. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so that one's done. Let's check out um, Let's do another one. Yeah, I'm blind. Look at that. January. I doubt the camera will pick it up. January 2006. Okay, we'll set this one aside. And I've got this Seagate Barracuda 160 gig. It's also a 7200 RPM drive. <laughs> My computer lags when I plug it in. Must be drawing too much power or something. Check, make sure everything's working. Yeah, okay. Wow, I haven't even hit the threshold. Sweet. Um, yeah, just more... More stuff. Refresh this. Oh, let me... C8. one is oh let me open up the date code zero seven zero two two that's a cool thing I like about opera is uh, it, I mean I think other ones can bring up your last page but this was already set by default so it's kind of convenient zero seven zero two 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 thousand six wow Six. Let's see what this one is. Let's go ahead and refresh. Run test. This thing is. This thing's quiet. It was sort of loud when I when I plugged it in, but it's pretty quiet now. Access test just hammers on those drives, doesn't it? Oh, that's pretty fast, though. Two nineteen. Wow, that's pretty cool. Two nineteen.
this thing is a Seagate drive. What happened is I had, I don't know what I was doing, but I spilt lacquer thinner on this. I don't know why I have this around something I was doing that had lacquer thinner. I know, stupid move, but it, what happened is it was, it was the sticker that was on it was peeling off. So I just went ahead and took it off. And it's a 160 gigabyte drive, 7200 RPM. It's basically the same thing as this guy. But uh, I've got the date code, so we'll take a look at that once I get it plugged in. But I think it's possibly from the same year. Yep, there goes the lag again. Um, close that out. 07024, yeah, 2006. I'm going to go ahead and put the date code on this one just so I know it's different from that other one. Alright. Refresh. Run test. We've got this Toshiba drive here that I'll do. It's um, this thing has been a a freaking trooper. I mean, I've used this in transferring files, backing up images to it, um, just all kinds of stuff. Two thirty four. Wow, that one is a little bit more alive than the other one. So typing with one hand here. Okay. Next one. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is I've got two more Seagates here. <clears throat> These are laptop hard drives, but they're both 160 and they're both 7200 RPM for laptop hard drive. So we're going to try these guys out. <clears throat> there goes a the lag. Uh, okay, let me mark this. These are momentous, momentous. It's kind of surprising how this is the one I spilled lacquer thinner on, and it seems to be the fastest. That's kind of funny. 
<laughs> wonder if lacquer thinner helps improve drives. I doubt it. Do not try that, guys. I take no disclaimer for putting lacquer thinner on your hard drive. But that's pretty funny. One eighty seven or one eighty two, I'm sorry. One eighty two point seven seconds. All right, let's try the next one. Should be literally almost the same, but this one, this date code was. What was that date code? One one no? Oh crap, I had it mixed around. This one. Oh no I didn't. No I didn't. Fifty three. So even though I looked it up, I think they're pretty much the same. Um this other one is one zero eighty three. But we'll check just to be sure. Yeah, because that's the one that I checked, but this one is one 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 fifty three. Yeah, same thing, two thousand ten. Alright. So we'll go ahead and put zero eighty three on there. See if that's any different. <laughs> Oh, stop lying. It's lying to me. These these two drives are actually pretty much identical. And what I want to do is set up a RAID um, I want to set up a RAID configuration software RAID in Windows. Uh, and this may be a separate video, but um, just to see if it improves performance at all because this motherboard doesn't have a Hardware, hardware RAID system on it, so um, we'll go ahead and see. That doesn't sound good. Did I run the wrong one? I think I did. Yep, I sure did. <laughs> I was like, that drive's not supposed to be that loud. Here we go. Wow, those are pretty close. This one was a tad faster. And that would be my cat driving me crazy. Wow, those would be a perfect for a raid. <clears throat> okay. Done on that. Now the only one I've got left is this Toshiba. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's this Toshiba drive. Now this Toshiba drive came out of a... I don't know if you guys ever remember, it was this weird computer brand it was called like Everix or Everest it was a really cheap brand that they sold at like Walmart 
it had a via processor in it and it had freaking windows vista on it that company didn't last very long or at least i didn't see a hard drive that was in one of those computers and this thing though has been uh, like like I said, I put images on it. I've transferred uh, files from it to um, like my Roku. Just oh, I mean, this drive has not died. And the date on this thing, if I'm not blind, actually, I don't even think this one does. Not on that one. I mean, I could be blind, but like I was before. Toshiba, the how about Toshiba? No, <laughs> Toshiba. Uh, Sixty gigabyte, fifty-four hundred RPM. I don't know what the date is, so we're just gonna run a test. Quick bench. So, I'm, I'm not expecting this one to be very good because it's small and it has a lower speed. But, like I said, it's been really reliable. Um, Well, I think after I do these, I'm going to do the 30 gigabyte Corsair drive. 82. That's actually a little better than I was expecting. 82.4 second. That's. I mean, it's not great. I mean, that compares with slower than that Maxer. Wow. So, yeah. So, just for giggles, this is a coarse air. This is my OS hard drive. Coarse air 32 gigabyte. And I forgot what model. It's a Nova. test and this is just to kind of put it in perspective as to how different SSDs are to normal hard drives or a spindle hard drive random test it was it was literally like that what? It's not very fast. But the random access time was 0.01 or 0 0.1 milliseconds. Hmm. It's actually not as good as I was expecting it to be. Well, that drive is quite old. I have put, I've probably installed I, at least 20 different operating systems on it. Like, you know, different Linux distros, uninstalled, reinstalled Windows, I don't know how many times. So, but it's still kicking along. So, I would, I'm not, that's not horrible. That's really not horrible. And it's only a SATA 2 drive, so it's not, I don't think it has the cap ability that a, a SATA 3 has obviously um, but what I want to do just for giggles is to see what the random access time was on that really fast Seagate which one was it that was the clear one 
or not the clear one, the one that I have with no sticker. Let me put this back on there just to see what its random access time was. See how it compares with an SSD. Um, why is it not powering up? Technical difficulties, maybe, perhaps? That's kind of scary. <laughs> Alright, once this is initializes, let's Let's run this again. I just want to see how it compares. Random access. Two thirty six, it did a little better, but the random access was twenty point three milliseconds. So you can see at random access a solid state is way better because it you know obviously it doesn't have to spool up or anything but uh, wow I can't believe it's I got you faster on the on the read and write than it is on the course here well yeah there you go have it guys let me expand this up a little bit so you guys can see and these are just some, these aren't all the hard drives I have, these are just some of the older ones. Um, So you've got these, uh, nothing really got past 100, but I've got three more hard drives that I could do a test on. I may do a separate video because those are like um, just my backup drives and I don't really want to move them a whole lot. So but yeah, there you guys have it. I know it's kind of a boring video, but I want to do something a little different and this is on my Hanging out. This is on my AMD machine, and OBS is really hard on it because I don't have quick sync or anything like that on here, so I can't do a whole lot. I had to reduce my resolution so that OBS would um, not lag on me. Let's show you guys here what it is at. I just got it at 1700. And my video is at 1280 by 768. So it's not quite full HD, but at least it'll be in 720p. So, well, there you guys have it.